What's up, y'all? It is Bella, back testing with Bella, trading bay. So today I'm going to be telling y'all how y'all can predict y'all next trade. Let's put this here. How to predict your next trade. So you do want to start on a higher time frame. You want to start on a four hour time frame, right? And you want to look for a retest in the market. So what I mean by a retest, it's just waiting on the market to return back to a key POI. So You don't have to overcomplicate this strategy. You don't have to do too much. You don't got to put that much thought in it. Like, it is not that hard to do. So sometimes in the market, it will take out buy or sell side liquidity. Most times it can be like relative equal highs or equal lows. So from a point like this in the market, you pretty much see the market created a swing high here. Once the market traded back up into this swing high, it sold off again. So if you would have had that key POI from a four hour time frame, then you would have known that, okay, it can sell off again from this area. So just because you marking your levels from a four hour time frame, you don't have to stick to the four hour time frame. You can go down to the one hour time frame. And on a one hour time frame, you can see things pretty clear. So this purple box, it came from the four hour time frame. But this is the one hour time frame. So it sold off the first time. The retest happened here. This was the retest. What happened at this retest? What did it do? It sold off again. Even if you mark your levels from a, from a one hour time frame, you can look here. This is a key POI. So from this one hour time frame, you see it sold off the first time. And then what happened here was a retest. Keep it simple. You ain't gotta put too much thought into it. Some of y'all be putting too much thought into stuff and y'all still be just getting it wrong. Like y'all just be doing the most. Like, look, retest it up here, sold off. Retest it again, sold off lower. You get what I'm saying? So you could even saw that on the 15 minute time frame. So if you had this level marked from a one hour time frame, and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. If you had this box marked from the swing high here the first time from a one hour time frame, if you go to the 15 minute time frame, I'm looking for the purple box on a 15 minute time frame. All right, so here on a 15 minute time frame, you see that the market, if you had this box mark from the first time it sold off, you see once the market traded back up towards there, sold off again, back up towards there, sold off again. Back up towards there, it was a bit chopped this time, but it sold off again stronger. So this is how you can predict your next trade. It's just by simply waiting on retest. So I'll show you guys an example from a swing low. So going to a four hour ch chart. This area here on a four hour time frame. So if I had already had this level mark from the four hour time frame the first time, once it retested back down in this area, It pretty much bought up again so this time it did take out a bit of sell side liquidity but on a one hour time frame just looking for the purple box give me a second on a one hour time frame 
all you want to see is bullish momentum. So here the first time, retest it again. And it bought up again. So here the first time it bought up. See the retracement there? It bought up again. So the way how you can catch these type of trades easily, it's just by simply setting alerts. Simple. So this is a very simple trading strategy that can allow you to catch points in the market very easily and it can be high probability trades. So if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And to my subscribers, I already know y'all should be talking about my background because it's all in the background so please don't get on me but yeah if you like this video like comment and subscribe thank you and i'm out